As we trade our winter boots for flip-flops and sandals this summer, we should remember to support the muscles in our feet. You bet. Here's chiropractor Stephen Gray. He joins us now with tips to help prevent pain as we get more active during these warmer months. Hey, Stephen, great to see you as always. And first off, tell us, why does the transition to less supportive shoes, why does that cause foot and ankle pain? So as we transition to less supportive footwear like flip-flops and sandals, we start relying on passive tissue like ligaments and active tissue like muscle for stability. This sudden increase in tissue stress is what can often lead to those aches and pains caused by sprains and strains. Okay, so what should we do to prevent this? Okay, so first of all, you wanna think of your foot as having a core. So according to an article by McKeon et al, they liken our lumbo pelvic core to our foot. So just as the innermost musculature around our abdomen and spine stabilizes our low back, the four layers of muscles inside our feet act as local stabilizers, while the muscles in our calf act as global movers. So we can actually test this. We can test out our foot core. You're going to do, do this by standing up tall and lifting your toes off of the floor. You'll notice okay. this also lifts the arch of your foot. From here, place the toes back down while maintaining that lifted arch. Then you want to transfer your weight onto one leg and balance. If you have any trouble balancing either for 30 seconds or you notice a lot of wiggling of your ankle, it may be a sign to start adding some foot core exercises into your routine. Okay. All, all right. right. I'm doing all right so far. Doing really um, good. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, now that we have tested our foot core, and who knew? I mean, I've got enough problems with this core, never mind the core <laughs> in my feet. Uh, you got a few exercises to help us improve our foot muscles, Stephen? Yes, so the first one is short foot. So, for this exercise, you can use a towel to help you get that action. So, place the towel on the ground and actually okay. place the front half of your foot on that towel. From here, you're going to dome your foot, lifting your arch, squeezing up and shortening that foot, and then relax and push that towel away. You want to repeat this action of shortening your foot over and over on both sides to really target those intrinsic muscles inside your feet. You guys don't want to do close-ups yeah. on my toes. They're a little cricket. <laughs> I guess a warning. Oh. <laughs> that, that, I'll tell you, though, that works. It works. I can feel that. My foot core. <laughs> I'm going to have a six-pack in my arch before I know it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, our next exercise, Stephen. Yes, so the next one's called piano toes. So for this one, you want to lift all of your toes off of the ground. From here, this is the excellent part of it because you do three different motions with your toes. Now you're going to place your toes back down on the ground one at a time, starting with that pinky toe. But all the while, spreading your toes as you lay them back down. You can kind of think of this exercise as yoga for your toes. Okay. okay. This oh, is actually, good. I don't know if it's just me. I'm finding this difficult. <laughs> I think you have a hole in your sock. This is underneath. tough. Oh, do I really? Oh, what a... <laughs> okay, lastly, you have a muscular <laughs> stirrup. Yes. So the muscles that surround our ankle on either side of our calf act as a stirrup. These muscles provide a lot of stability for our ankle for running or for soccer. And for this exercise, you want to sweep that foot inside, squeezing and sickling, and then winging that foot out in the opposite opposite direction squeezing the muscles on the other side of your foot steven this i feel like i'm this close to having one of those foot cramps you know when you're when the when the yes. kind of gets out of place oh a little yeah bit? do i know that usually the middle of the yes. night so yeah. by the way since we do have a close-up on my feet or we did i just want to uh, clear the record because i was thinking what is going on here i put new socks on this morning it's a sticker all right it's just a sticker <laughs> yes that that last exercise is great for any of your soccer players, your runners, and also, of course, our gymnast. <laughs> there we go. As always, Stephen Gray sticking the finish, sticking the landing. You Stephen, bet. thanks as always. Good to see you this morning. Thank you.